Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. I'm here in Portland and I don't really know exactly where I am but I know this is the city of bridges and it definitely doesn't disappoint. There's bridges all around here and today is fun because I'm exploring here out with my Brompton in the rain. Um, I'm going to visit one of my favorite stores that I've come to, ex to find out here and that's Clever Cycles. It's an urban bike shop that sells a ton of cool e-bikes and Brompton stuff. I'm in need of some accessories as you can tell here I'm having some issues mounting these things here. I can't even fit my bike a bit on here. So I'm gonna find a solution to that at the store. So let's go roll over, see what it's like. It's not too far from here. And after a short roll, we've made it over to the store and thank goodness because the rain just kept on pouring and pouring. But nonetheless, we've made it here. I don't have, definitely don't have all my rainproof gear on today. So depending on how hard it rains, I might have to shelter a lot more. But at least I put on this cool accessory that came with the bag. So that will help a lot with keeping dry. But anyway, let's go in, check out the store and um, I'm going to pick up a couple accessories. We're now in Clever Cycles and this is a shop specializing in folding, family transit and cargo bicycles plus apparel and accessories. And just looking at this wide view here, it's abundantly clear. You're seeing a lot of different cargo bikes here on the left, e-bikes, all sorts of things you don't normally see in most bike shops. Of course, they still have analog bikes as we see here, but just in the background, you'll see the turn bikes. You'll see the uh, Urban Arrow here. I think that brand is the Yuba, as well as the typical Gazelle sort of high speed uh, e-bikes and of course the Brompton section which I'll sort of leave a lot towards the end and of course they have just a wall of typical accessories but in terms of their pannier collection and also their panda bar grip selection that is pretty unique as that's what I came here for so it's a perfect fit so let's take a deeper look around and here we have some of the those Dutch cargo bikes again the Urban Arrows and this Yuba brand I don't know what model exactly these are but they are really cool and they're so big I can totally fit in here. <laughs> so yeah, I have one friend that recently bought one. So I'm hoping to try his out back in Seattle sometime to show you all. But they definitely stock some of those bikes here. So you can just see that for all oh, for yourself. I also really like that they sort of come stock with accessories that you don't normally find from the, all the different brands. So I think this is from that cargo bike brand Yuba. They have all their particular bags. And then I saw over on the other side, like just all the different turn bikes and their specific uh, brands and all the accessories that they needed with it. They sort of have them all stocked here. And of course, I can't forget the Brompton. I think just in the entire Pacific Northwest, just because folding bikes are not as big a thing, this is definitely the, one of the big, the best stores I've seen. Just with the collection here, a P-Line Electric, the new C-Line in the matcha color. There's a lot of cool stuff uh, and it's all sort of here for sure. I'm sure in New York with the Brompton Junction there. Uh, they probably rivals this a much more, but in terms of just around here, this is definitely really neat. Seeing that new CHPT uh, P line there, and just more Bromptons everywhere, so uh, just really amazing. Like I don't think I was able to see this kind of collection just really anywhere, except for maybe in my experience in Hong Kong, where of course the Brompton and folding bikes is just much much more popular. But having custom accessories like these, uh, the neat different pedals, different shock absorbers, lights, so on. It's definitely a Brompton little hotspot. So here is also a lot of the Brompton bags that they stock as well as all the urban helmets. But without further ado, let's get to shopping and get a couple of the accessories that I came here to actually pick up and no sales tax here in Portland, which is great. All right, so I just picked up this new accessory that will help me mount a lot more things. So let's put it on, it's pretty simple. It's just like this 3D printed part and it's uh, pretty stable on there. And shout out to Clever Cycles for letting me film the store and even taking my picture for their Facebook page. But anyway, let's uh, wrap up the store and head out outside. It was an awesome trip. I managed to pick up the same grips I used on my other Brompton. I really come to like them as well as I can finally mount stuff on my Brompton again. So uh, because the M bar is near not nearly as enough handlebar uh, sort of space, this little accessory here is like this little clip on thing that bridges between and then you can just mount it just like a normal bar. So pretty neat, uh, really glad I stopped by. Let me know what you thought of the store. Uh, was there any bikes in there that you would get? Uh, Cause yeah, I feel like it's really different and it's really cool to focus on sort of more urban use cases. But anyway, I'm gonna head over to lunch now and then uh, keep on rolling.